My name is Pijo and I own two companies. In those two companies, I guide tourists here in Iceland and I also have a video content making a marketing agency. And in my job over the years, being a male, I've sometimes done the mistakes to push myself so that I've landed in burnout. When I landed in burnout, I noticed when I looked back that I had not been eating properly. I had been eating on the go and I've gained weight and many times I had to change everything. The way I approach, I had to slow down and eat a lot more fruits and veggies. So this video is to teach you how you can do it and learn from someone who's been doing it now for eight years. And so my first question to you is, why, why use it? Why don't I just eat what is here? You know, a bunch of apples, uh, you know, beetroot, cucumber, pineapple, spinach. And so why don't we just eat it? So that's the first thing I'm gonna ask you. Now, why juice? You see, the two of the main reasons why you should use is simply for the reason that we don't eat it. We don't, we don't eat it. So I don't eat it, but if I juice it, and it's, to make the juices takes me, for, you know, four juices for every, every meal the next day, it takes me 35 to 40 minutes. And when you think about preparing food for 40 minutes for the whole next day, it doesn't make sense to you. And at the same time, getting way more that the body needs. So whatever the body doesn't need of this here, of all the nutrients in this, uh, it will you know pee it out, whatever. So you can't you can't damage your body or, or you know you, you give it the its optimal health to build up for cellular nutrition and to build up your whole body again. I've done this a few times where I got, sometimes got too busy and started to eat bad again, but then I come back to this. So this video is going to show you simply how to go about it and uh, in a sustainable way. Secondly, I'm going to explain to you the principle of the fishing pole. Now, the fishing pole, if I take, uh, for instance, you know, if, you, if, this, if I have a swimming fish in this, and uh, with water, with oxygen, etc., etc., when I ask kids, and this is what I learned from my friend Jason Whale, who is a juice master, is that if my body is, is like that fish, and I need to cleanse my body, and if I have a fish bowl here, and if you imagine it like that, and the fish is inside, and I put hamburgers, I smoke, I put all the bad eating stuff in here, and the water will start, start to get very murky. And when I would ask a kid, what do I need to do so that the fish or me would get better, they would say, just clean the water. And that's principle number two, why we are eating all of this, because when you um, stop eating the garbage stuff that we sometimes eat, and you put in really clean stuff, because all of this, all of this is like when you put it through the juicer, you know, you're going to have the fiber coming out on the other side, and the other one's going to be juice. So this is juice. So when you cleanse the water in the fishing bowl, the fish will start to become healthy and live again. And that's thing number two. Thirdly, I'm going to explain to you the difference between a juicer and the mixer. And the main difference between juicer and the mixer is this, and you need both. Now the mixer is like, or sometimes called a blender, is simply your mouth. So you take all this stuff, you put it in your mouth, and you start to chew it and break it down. That's what the mixer does. So it's basically, this is like your mouth. But we all know it takes a lot of energy to uh, chew it and, and to really get into it. And secondly, why it's good to use those and why you have higher absorption when you, when you use the mixer and the blender is because when you think about it, to get the nutrients out of this, you would have to, because there are a lot of fibers in here, and along the fibers, is the fluid or the nutrition in like really small pockets of fluid. So to get the nutrition out of this, you have to eat it and you have to chew it until it becomes a fluid. Now let me ask you, do you, when you eat a cucumber, do you swallow it sometimes or do you really eat it down to, so it becomes, that you don't swallow it un until it becomes a liquid? I mean, I sometimes swallow. So that's why when you see studies that show that using a juicer and a mixture, uh, you get a higher absorption from the body, you get more nutrients. So the reason is, is simply, you know, because we don't chew. Think about it. So uh, why would a study that shows that by juicing stuff instead of eating it, you would getting, getting a higher absorption in your body and more nutrients? And I didn't understand this at first, but once I understood that uh, I don't chew that good, I'm lazy at chewing. So a lot of that stuff is unchewed, gets into my stomach and just goes out of the system, but the juicer does it all. So this is something you sh I might expect you to have learned today. Uh, now, after we talked about the third point, which was the difference between juicer and the mixer, I, when someone wants to do the same thing as, as, as I do, 
you have to ask yourself, what are good books or apps? I mean, I try to use books and write down the grocery list. For me, it works better if I have an app and I'm gonna show you now what I mean. So what I'm gonna do now is that I've taken my second phone that I was using and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna to do today. And I'm gonna talk about uh, uh, what kind of apps I use and how to use the apps that give you grocery lists. And so you have everything in your phone and you have all the information. You don't have to write it out on a paper. You can do it if you want, but it didn't work for me. So the most sustainable way for me is to get and have all the apps in my phone and uh, to be very easily be able to do grocery lists from there. What I'm gonna show you now is how I make the juices from which input sources. I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. Uh, but the juices we are gonna do today are uh, three different juices, but actually, because I'm doing the double portions of two of them, those are five juices. One I'm gonna to have today, and then I've already made all my juices for tomorrow because I'm guiding towards tomorrow. Now, I'll, let me show you this here on the other phone here, what I'm gonna mean. So we're gonna do three types of juices. So this is the first juice, a uh, double portion. This is the second juice is also, and this is a green juice. Now here in the first juice, we have two apples. Uh, we have pears. Uh, uh, so the pears have a lot of has a lot of pectin, and uh, so they're like a gel in your digestive system. You have lime, which is going to make it a little bit sour, but I love limes; tastes like caramel for me. And you have parsnip, parsnip, and all the root vegetables uh, have are full of uh, minerals as well, and so manganese, uh, magnesium, and so on and so forth. Now here you have a little bit of mint to to, to make this sweeter. So this one is going to be really nice, and it's going to be because it's a lot has a lot of pears, four pears in it because it's a double portion. So it's going to be very very sweet and nice on the stomach. Now here, secondly, we're gonna uh, we have uh, the beetroot uh, and the carrots, and then of course we're gonna sweeten it up with uh, blueberries and, and strawberries. Now this, uh, in particular, the beetroot is gonna widen up your blood vessel and it's gonna make you basically be more relaxed. So if you wanted to help your blood wells vessels to rebuild themselves and get more oxygen. Instead of having all the energy drinks, you can just learn to make a bunch of, when you hit the gym, like after gym smoothie, do beetroot, you know? You wanna have it before because you feel like you wanna have a little bit of pick-me-up, you can do it before as well. Now, thirdly, I wanna have a green juice. Green juice means for me, uh, kale, uh, might add a little bit kale to this, even though it's not part of the recipe, but it has a lot of spinach, uh, lime as well, ginger for a proper kick, pineapple, which is, of course, is great for you, uh, and uh, a cucumber, which is, uh, uh, yeah, well, it gives you basically a, a, a lot of water into the juice as well. You have here uh, the celery juice. I, I love celery. My girlfriend hates it, by the way. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> two apples. And then you have here, of course, the avocado. Now, avocado, when a lot of people think, oh, I need protein. But think about it. When you eat, when you eat, a, eat avocado, avocado has all the... Uh, you know, all, this is basically one of the few things you can live off uh, of all the fruits that are here. You could basically, because all the amino acids are contained that the body also doesn't make, are also contained in here. And those amino acids are the building blocks of protein. So instead of eating all that protein, you can eat and have a lot of avocados and which will basically then uh, help you build a lot of your own protein as well. So those are the three drinks that we are gonna do. I'm gonna show you now here uh, what I use when it comes to in uh, input sources. Now, let's go here to, do you see this here? So here are a lot of different um, apps for this. And the one I am currently on, the juice program, is the five day juice. Now, five day juice here, down here, you have an overview <clears throat> of all the recipes. Now, I'm in the plan, I'm on day five, just to finish this. But before that, I would do the 28 day juice after the Super Juice Me movie. Uh, it's a movie for free called Super Juice Me from Jason Vale. It's on YouTube and, you know, it's just for free there. And it's a journey of eight people with 22 diseases and how it changes their system because they're of all ages and differently sick. So when they have this nothing but juice for 28 days, you basically see how the body knows and starts to repair itself. Now, back to the five here. What we're going to do today is that I'm going to do the turbo with a kick. That's a green one. And as you can see here, uh, I'm going to do here uh, two apples. There's pineapple, lime, celery, ginger root, avocado. Uh, this is just for me today. And in the plan, there is the sweet uh, beet uh, smoothie where I have basically uh, apples. I'm, I'm having two because, you know, double portion. Uh, four carrots, beetroot. I don't have the blackberries, but I use blueberries and a little bit of... Uh, uh, strawberries, but it's just fine. And they are frozen, so I don't need uh, uh, ice uh, because it's already, you know, you know, they're frozen. The second one I'm going to do is the Pearson parsnip. 
Now, basically, as you see here, when you use this app, and this app, I wanna show you, you know, this beautiful, all those apps here, you know, Super Blend Me, 5 to 2 Juice app, Super Charge Me, 7 Day Juice, 7 Day Soup. Think about it, when you go to your, it doesn't matter if you have iPhone or you have Android. You buy this app, this app costs $5 or less, and this is all the recipes you can do. And, and the beauty about this is this one, all those recipes, they are all from the same uh, Jason Mail, Super Juice Me. Let's say I would be here on, uh, let's say I would be here on day four, uh, and I wanted to do gro uh, day three, and I wanted to do grocery list for four and five. I can just generate it here, you know, day and four and five, uh, and then it shows me, you know, ginger root, and it shows me basically how much I need of, of all of it. Now, what I can do, I can already check in my fridge. I might have, let's say I have the apple. I have, you know, nine apples. So I'm going to, you know, mark it. Let's say the next thing is avocados. I own an avocado. And let's say for now, and then, like I have those on my phone as well, I just go and use my phone in a regular app, but I don't close the app. And then I go uh, later in the day to a grocery market and I buy and I just open it again and it's all there. So I know when I have the phone in my hand, I can just add all the stuff that I need. So this is uh, when you, what, what, my suggestion is this. You have the Super Juice Me plant uh, app. And uh, what you can do is basically you can, there are eight, different apps from Jason Bale, you know? And uh, so the seven day plan, five to super blend me, super fast food, uh, one of my favorites. Take a look at this here, uh, recipes. Do you see this here? Like, it, doesn't this look amazing? And uh, so this is all stuff. And this, you buy this for, for five, you know, five dollars. You have this for life. So this is amazing. So, I mean, it's just ridiculous why this, you know, why not everyone has it? Like, Kathy's super uh, port and, do you know what I mean? He has and also videos how he explains everything and uh, so, you know, wakey wakey. Here it is, the super food porridge is taking porridge and raising the game, taking porridge to the next level. People think I only have juice every single morning. <laughs> So, uh, like I said, when I'm doing the juices, like um, doing the 28 day juice, I like when I'm in the plan, I'm doing, let's say I'm doing this one, I really like to open up the app and I have my uh, iPhone, uh, you know, wireless headphones with me and I'm listening to the guy as I'm making the juice in the morning, tell me what's in it, why it's good for me and all that, you know. So this is, uh, a lot of input sources are, uh, you know, other something great if you want to have something more to eat. This is more f designed for a phone. Is Raw Christina? Raw Christina is uh, had diabetes, changed your life, and you know, do you have here? If you're living in the UK, it doesn't have to be, but you would know deliciously Ella. You know, they she has amazing stuff to eat. This is what I use as well. Then you have the forks over nice recipes. So as you see here, over 600 recipes. Uh, good to watch the movie first, and then you have the grocery list as well. Uh, you have the beet, you know, you have the green uh, kitchen, you know what I mean? So uh, endless, all with grocery lists. So this is why it's so amazing. So, a little bit messy in the sense of, okay, did it now, but I've timed this many times and uh, I need about 35 uh, to 40 minutes to do this. Now, I wanna talk about uh, basically three more things, which is one, bottles. So those are the, those are the bottles I use. Like I said, uh, those here bought Ikea. This is bought by Living Greens in San Francisco. Uh, those here I got there as well. Now, when I am doing stuff, 
I put the bottles in here like when I'm guiding, I put them in here. And I have them here with me, close it off, and because I'm sometimes with uh, like a Land Cruiser and there's not that much space in the back, I have my bottles and they also, because they're in a camera bag, like lens bag, I find it super practical so the fourth juice or the fifth juice can be on here on the outside and three on the inside. So I have a lot of juices with me and uh, because the whole process to make the juices within 40, well, 35, 40 minutes, and then also being able to take them with you in proper uh, uh, bottles that fit into to the holders in your car and so that you can easily take them with you is super important. Now, to make this your own, and uh, you have to practice it. And like me, I have, for instance, I have two uh, Vitamix uh, bottles, two two liter Vitamix bottles, because sometimes I'm just making a lot of juice and I find it easier before I pour that, I pour that one into a bottle, clean it, put the red one in there. And I also do, if I'm doing a red juice, a beetroot juice, I do it last. Now, sustainability means basically, are you gonna do it? Like, what do you have, do you have in your kitchen? from uh, a blender to a mixer, from bottles to whatever, uh, so that you do it. Sustainability is the same thing, the same principle behind when you decide to go jogging. And do you go jogging or not? So what do you need to change so it becomes easy for you? And my tips are this, is that have all the apps. I think I have 12 apps and they cost $5, $6 maybe. So there's no investment, like really. And I, I owe them all, all of them I own besides Raw Christina, there's a su subscription. But Raw Christina has a lot of great salads and uh, stuff that I, because sometimes I don't, I also want to have something nutritious to eat. Now, this looks messy, but like I said, from walking in the, in the kitchen, when it comes to sustainability, I couldn't be doing this for two, two hours. So the moment I walk into the kitchen, it takes me from where I have, uh, if I need to cut a pineapple, you know, take the skin off or, or the, 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 the skin off, but leave the pith on for the lime, I, it, the whole thing plus cleaning the machines takes me not longer than 40 minutes. So my question to you, when you make it, when I'm talking about sustainability, meaning what do you need to have in your environment? Think about it like that. What do you need to have in your environment? Uh, <coughs> like I have to have the apps. I have to have the gears. I have to have the blender. This is a slow juicer, not a fast juicer. It costs a little bit more, but uh, it makes, uh, makes better juices. It gets more. The pulp that comes out is drier, so you can see it's getting more juice from it. Uh, I bought this from the website of Jason Well, the juice master. And um, I, I'm a Vitamix lover. I don't buy blenders myself that have buttons. That's me. I don't care of the program. I would understand because you, you see the blenders that are, uh, you know, when someone like Joe and the Juice. And I understand that they take whatever they have there, they put it on there, they close the machine, and they put it on program number three. And that's fine if it's commercial. But for home, where I want to use my feelings, where I feel it needs a little bit more, I don't want to do it too much because uh, there's a certain heat that gets created in this. So I want to have it run on that machine as, as short as possible because the moment it comes heat, a warmer juice, it's not going to be nice. So I put a lot of ice in it usually. So I'm saying is that you have to have the space in the kitchen. You have to have the machines. You have to have, like I tried it to do, instead of the apps, I had books. I couldn't do the books. I didn't go home when I wanted something nutritious and I was tired and I felt like I needed to change my nutrition. I didn't go home, opened up the books and said, okay, I'm doing this juice, this juice, this juice, this juice, and wrote it up, the, 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 the grocery list. I didn't do it. So it wasn't sustainable. Nothing against the books. For me, that's not sustainable. I need to have any apps. I need to open the apps, see the grocery list, open up my fridge and say, oh, I have this, I have this, I have this, I have this, you know, tick it off my list. And then I don't close the app. And then I go about my day and in the afternoon when I do groceries, I open, the app is still open and I can see what I need. So I use, uh, you know, I barely throw anything away. I use it very good. And like I said, that whole thing is just a running on apps uh, alone. I have books and I write, like to read the books because the books also tell me why it's good to juice and all that. So buy the books and read the books. Uh, but uh, the best apps I've ever f I found are the ones that I showed you. You know, Jason Whale apps, uh, OC Glows, um, Royal Christina. I just, you know, those are the best. And uh, in my opinion. Now, bottles are very important also because they're definitely strong. Now, this is previous milk bottles from Stanpak. Stanpak used to, yeah, make milk bottles. You can go on the website of Stanpak and you can order maybe, like if you're a single household, uh, you could, I don't know, I would order 15 or something like that. Uh, I haven't broken, but I, I gave some of them away, but they're, I really like them. Those are from them as well, you know, also Stanpak, they are also quite too smaller, but also very handy. And those are from Ikea and you know I use them 
they're not good, not good quality. I use them, but they're not good quality. It's just because I, you haven't been to San Francisco to buy one of those. So, and secondly, if you are a truck driver and you say, okay, Bijo, this is all fine, you can you know, show me this and I would really love to have the nutritious, but if you're allowed on the road, what I mean with a truck driver, you're allowed on the road, uh, what I also have, I have a battery charger that can take up to two kilowatts. This cost me, I think, $2,000, no, $1,500. And uh, so that means I have two kilowatts. This is like 1,200 kilowatts, this is way less. And so I do this, um, I have a smaller mixer, so I do this on the road as well. I, have a, I take, a fa take my fast user and I take a smaller mixer and I do this on the road as well. I'm gonna do another video on that, how I do it on the road. And uh, so if it takes you not more than 40 minutes to walk into the kitchen, if you have the groceries, to walk in the kitchen, making all meals the next day, you know, for juices, like, you know, breakfast, lunch, uh, you know, for afternoon dinner, and you have everything you need within 40 minutes, you know, would it be, would it be interesting for you to do it? At least this, is, this video is for those that say, hey, video, actually, I find it's, you know, it's maybe more easier than I thought, because I've lost uh, weight on this, I have a balanced energy, and I have wider teeth, I have, uh, you know, my, my vision improved. And then I also, after, you know, I try to do it sometimes within 8.16 as well. Uh, you know that concept. concept. So, and, uh, you know, anyway, so this is how I do it. And I hope it inspires some to say, I really love how I'm doing it. So now, in the end, you know, there's nothing left there. I'm gonna, this is the green juice I'm gonna have now is to just, you know, add some green juice. And this looks, of course, amazing. Um, so this is gonna have me a little bit on the ropes. This is what I poured in a little bit of water before because I like to flush the machine and get a little bit more of the juice. I promise you, because like the gorilla who eats, half of what it eats is like uh, leaves, roots, uh, you know, like raw stuff, and then it eats uh, uh, a lot of fruits as well. So this is a fairly balanced, approach to have a lot of veggies but also a lot of fruits which balances it out and make it so much sweeter when it comes to the taste and i promise you once you start to do this it's so gonna up your level uh, of juices that you like and, and, and love taste wise uh, beetroot with all the other stuff together it's ridiculously good so i hope i inspired you to start at least try this and uh, wish you all the best on your way.